Hello everyone and welcome back, oh my goodness, there go a whole bunch of people, to Star Stable. And we are back here with Saga and Melanie Warrior, getting ready to take Melanie Warrior back to the stables really quickly. Well, we need to do a quest actually, but you know what, Melanie Warrior comes first. Look at all the dirt we're kicking up, that is so cool. But, oh, look at everything, it's so pretty. We actually need to work on doing some quests with Old Man Jasper. But it has been a long time since Melody Warrior has seen any care because I have been very busy the last few days. And thank you guys so much for letting me know. To make her happy, I just really need to focus on getting her taken care of every single day. That's going to slow down, slow down, slow down. Easy there, Melody Warrior. Let's take care of you here. And so now I know when this green spinny symbol happens up in the top left corner, what that means is we can actually take care of Melody Warrior here. And eventually I might be able to get stable hands who can take care of her. And eventually I might even be able to get her to a vet. But right now I am not yet a star rider. I'm about to hit level five pretty soon. I'm already on level three. So when I hit level five, I will definitely become a star rider because your guys support and excitement over everything we've been doing has been so amazing. All right, let's go ahead. Let's take care of poor Melody Warrior. She really deserves the best. All right, and let's give her some hay. There you go. At the very least, I hope to start being able to log on every day and take care of her because I feel so bad that she's having a rough time of it. There we go. And let's give her a little bit of water because she has just not been very happy. And I really want to see that improve. So there we go. And let's go ahead and let's go see Tan because I noticed when I was looking over our quest log that the available quests are Old Man Jasper and what happened to Loretta. So Tan has something to say about what's going on with Loretta. So I want to see what's going on there. Oh, and I also need to do my daily stable hand chores because I need more money. <laughs> I'm out of hay and I need to be able to buy more hay for Melody Warrior. Oh, and you guys have told me that I can actually go in here, apparently. Oh, ooh, okay, I can. And this is like a storage area that I have. Oh, this is cool. Stable care help, zero days left. Oh my gosh, is this where I can like have people... Oh, look at this. This is so cool. What's this? All right, stable care help, arrange horses, my horses, appearance change... And so you can pay, oh, I see. So I could pay in my um, star coins. Oh, there's a championship going on. That is so cool. Everything is so awesome. I'm getting so excited, you guys. There's just so much to see. So we can hire somebody. I'm willing to hire somebody for seven star coins, especially if we're gonna become stable hands in the future. And this is how we can take care of Melody Warrior even when we're not able to make it on. So this would be really useful for when I go away on vacation, for example. And I think that that's a really neat little feature to put in. So I'm getting so excited. It has been so, 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 so long since I've done something that's like an online game that has constant updates and quests and missions and friends you can make. And is that a cat that looks like a cat is there a little kitty cat? Oh, it's just a lamp. I thought there was a kitty cat sleeping up in the stable. But I think you can actually have pets in here. Like, I think I've seen people say you can have pets in Star Stable too. So that makes me really excited. Oh, we've barely touched the tip of the iceberg for sure. So, for a fee, stable care can take care of your horses. Perfect for when you're busy and, not, and, and cannot take care of your horses by yourself. Stable care takes care of all the normal horse care for you. During that period when it is active, all the horses in your stable will will be fed, watered, brushed, and have their hooves taken care of. This will make sure that your horse's mood does not decline while you are away. If the mood is not already at maximum, it should improve while stable care is active, exactly as if you took care of the horses yourself during that period. Choose the number of days you would like to have stable care, maximum 30 days, pay the fee, and your horses will be taken care of as long as it's active. That's wonderful. All right, well, um, you know what? I'm going to go ahead... And I'm going to put in for like, maybe, well, maybe not yet because I should be able to be on tomorrow. That's a good, good little option though. So, you know what? Melody Warrior is not happy still. All right. We'll wait on that because I want to save our money just for now, even though we're going to be getting more of those star coins in the future because I'm pretty sure we'll go with lifetime membership if you guys are continuing to be so excited and happy to see these episodes. My horses, I can look at little Melody Warrior and that is so neat. All right. So what else can we do? Is this like to be able to leave? Well, I don't want to leave just yet. What a fun way to like have my own little personal barn. <gasps> Is this my closet? Oh, that would be my closet if I was a star writer to put away all my stuff, wouldn't it? All right, and what's this? This looks kind of interesting. What's over here? Oh, this is where I can like fill out my buckets. 
Nice. All right, Melody Warrior. I think we're ready. Okay, go ahead. We're going to pop on you. And can we get out over this way? Let's see. Here we go. There we are. That is so cool. I love that. Oh, look at that bridle. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that is so neat. All right. And actually, I should probably tuck Melanie Warrior to the side for just a minute. Because I need to do a little bit of our stable hand chores. I know it's really, really basic stuff, but it's a great way to learn the controls and to just remind me like what we need to do. And currently, it's the only way I can actually make any money. So <laughs> I'm desperate for being able to make some money. We can do this really quickly. All right. And I hear that there's actually somebody somewhere selling like almond pudding or something like that as part of these special events that are currently going on. There we go. We've got the shovel. Now we can... Where's my shovel? Ew, I just walked in the poop. Oh, well, that's what these boots are for. So let's muck out the stable really quickly. Just do our work. Then we can also come over here, fill in the water as we go down the list. Wonderful, wonderful. All right, fill in some of the food. Oh, I didn't get the hay yet. All right, well, we'll finish mucking and then we'll go get the hay. All right, and let's grab the shovel. Here we go. Let's go grab the hay. Then I have a teensy bit of money to help me with being able to afford more hay for Melody Warrior. Because I'm kind of poor right now. <laughs> and we'll fix that as time goes on. I'm not too worried. All right, so there's feeding. We need to run around here. Okay, put that there. And yeah, there's some food that needs fed over here. Sorry, Emma Swift Hope. All right. Just throwing hay at her face. All right, and we'll do this. Come on, almost done. There we go. So let's go get our money. And then we're gonna go see what happened to Loretta and start working on the quest. And because you guys have been so excited, we'll probably start having more episodes lately too because I'm getting really excited for everything. All right, Jenna. We did some mucking. We did some watering. And we did some feeding. Thank you so much, Jenna. Now I have a, oh, reputation level. Oh, we're friendly with Moreland Stables now. That is so cool. All right, well, let's get ahead and jump back on Melody Warrior. There we go. I love that bucket of gnomes. I don't know why, just those kinds of details are what make me so happy. And let's go ahead and run the race because I have not been collecting the experience points that poor Melody Warrior has been earning. All right, so let's slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, stop, 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 stop. All right, Tan, I need to turn towards you and talk to you. And we're going to run the racetrack again. Oh, and we actually do get some shillings for doing it, too. I didn't know that. All right. Watch out, Tiffany. Tiffany Birchsmith. Come on. Come on. There we go. Now we've got it. And we're going to run this as quickly as we can with Melody Warrior. A slow start, so I don't think we're actually going to be able to break our record. Oh, gosh. It really is so helpful to do these things because then you get used to the controls a little faster. Come on, Melody Warrior, you've got this. All right. I'm gonna run down the little little man doing his GPS survey. All right, watch out for that person. We're getting there. We almost there. Come on, Melody, you've got this. And this time I will be sure to get her the experience points she deserves. Oh, we're almost there. Almost there. Ah, there we go. Personal best. Good job, Melody. That's wonderful. Super slow compared to a lot of other people, but that's not your fault. And now I remember we need to come over and talk with Tan. So this is going to be really fun. I'm looking forward to all these quests. I, we need to continue the family tragedy of Jorvik stables, though. Or Moreland Stables. All right, so there we go. Well done, Saga. So there we go. Hopefully that will have increased. Yeah, Melody Warrior's XP has gone up quite a bit. Have you seen Loretta? No, she took a ride on the wild bobcat track, but never returned. I'm worried that something has happened to her, but I can't leave the paddock here. All the other bobcats are out searching for her and I need to stay here if someone gets back with the news. I know you may not like Loretta much, but I really need your, your help searching for her. Please ride to the cliffs w west of here and look for her. Hurry, Saga. Ooh, so something might be going down. So Loretta might be in trouble. The quest to the, or the uh, cliffs to the west of here, huh? 
Well, let's go check on her really quickly. Because if someone has gotten hurt, then we need to see them, like, right away. And I'm more inclined to check on somebody. Oh, this man might know something. Alright, let's slow down. There's lots of people going up there. Mm. GED worker. Stop! This road has been, has been declared unsafe. You can't walk, ride, or drive any further. Really? Because they're kind of going somewhere. There was a huge rock site a little while ago. And large rocks have blocked the road completely. I, if I had... Uh... If I've seen a girl on a horse? No, but I hope for her sake she's not lying under the pile of boulders over there. In that case, she'd be flat as a pancake. Oh my goodness gracious. No, I can't let you pass. Even if your friend is in danger, the road must be cleared before I can let you pass. Those are the orders I have, so I won't leave this place until Mr. Kimball tells me to. You don't know what he'd do to me if you found out I had disobeyed his orders. Humph. If it's that important, why don't you go over to the construction site northeast of here and ask Mr. Kimball to send the bulldozer. You'll find Mr. Kimball at the construction site, close to that beautiful large advertising board. You have a weird taste, sir. All right. I don't have time for this drivel. I'm hungry and no one is coming to let me have my lunch. Off you go to the construction site. All right. So we need to get the bulldozer over here, oddly enough. Well, that's going to be kind of interesting. We're going to have to work with Mr. Kimball, of all things. Actually, looking at those rocks reminds me, we were supposed to go and meet with that druid guy, the druid blacksmith, and actually see if he has a new quest for us because he had something he said we had to wait like a day to meet with him so let's run over and see him oh look at everybody it's so pretty here i love just running through the forest and everyone says they're super excited for me to be able to see what the forest look like when it is actually uh like spring and the green trees are everywhere all right let's see nope i don't want to talk to nova i want to talk to conrad hey conrad Conrad, can I not speak with him? Is do I do I not have anything I can do with him? All right, looks like we can't do anything with Conrad right now. We'll have to come back later. All right, so let's go ahead and now I think where on earth? Pretty sure Mr. Kimball is up here because the yeah yeah I'm pretty sure he's up this way. All right, come on, Melody Warrior. She's such a good horse. I feel so bad. I need to ride in or I need to jump in more often to be able to take care of her. All right. Let's come up here. Mr. Kentbell is up here. Nasty, thorny construction site. All right. Let's see if we can order this man around. I have a feeling he's just going to yell at us, <laughs> but we'll do what we can. All right. It's a good public resource opportunity, sir. What a chin you have. Ah, oh, what have we here? A cute little saber girl dares to come all this way up here. What do you want then? Sabotage my powerful machines in a pathetic attempt to save your little pile of planks that you call a stable? Don't you worry, little girl. We will tear, tear the stable down and build new houses all over the land that we sell for fabulous amounts of money. Rather excellent, isn't it? I'll be rich and the Moorlands won't get a dime. I even get to watch them cry as I burn the stable down to the ground. You have some major issues, sir. Oh, you're not here to cause trouble? Really? You want me to lend you a bulldozer? You're funny, little girl. Ha 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 ha. All right, come on. Come on. Hey, you. So you want me to send a bulldozer to clear the western road in order to rescue a friend. I really should ask you for an outrageous amount of money, but you don't look like you have it. I guess I was going to have to have this road cleared anyway. I'm waiting for the wrecking crew to come, and this rock slide will f uh, this rock slide will force them to take a detour. But if you want my help, you have to do something for me first. I never give anything away for free. You see all those ugly trees around here? They must be cut down to make room for our machines and the new buildings. Take this red masking marking tape and mark four trees that we will ch cut down. No! My pretty trees! What? Mark four trees with the red tape. Otherwise, he won't help you with the bulldozer. Unpleasant task. I agree. I don't want to have to mark any trees. I mean, he can keep his thorns. Can I mark his thorn bushes? So, I need to mark some trees with the red tape. Huh. Use this tape to mark down the trees that will be felled. Hmm. Which trees, though? Is that, like, the trees behind him or the trees over here? Okay, so we're going to need to... Oh, no, like, the trees up here? Really? These poor little things. I don't want to have to mess with them. It's so fun to see so many people on horses all over the place. Oh, over here. Okay, slow down. Easy there, Melody. We've got this now. It's a very unpleasant task, but we've got to do it. All right. Put the tree marks on. Poor things. 
They're so pretty, too. All right, easy there, Melanie. There we go. We're getting a little better. I'm getting a little bit better at being able to work with her and not just, like, zip off into the distance. There we go. Not that... Oh, yep, that tree. That tree was actually one of them. We'll turn around in just a second. Easy there, easy there. Oh, easy there, Melody. She just moves so fast. All right, there we go. Well, probably not compared to most of your guys' horses, but just figuring out the controls is fun. All right, and we'll go ahead and get over here a little bit closer. And there we go. All right, that should take care of that task. What's glowing over here? What is this? What have we found? Melody, what's this? Something's glowing down here. Found, find item picnic basket. Interesting. And then can we have like a little picnic here? That's so cute. That might be a little picnic area. I get it now. All right, let's go ahead and go tell him that we've completed his awful task and marked out the trees that need cut down. All right, slow down. Now what do you think about that, sir? Good girl. Maybe you should think about working for us here at the GED. We all, we're we always looking for people willing to destroy and exploit nature. Oh, my promise? I don't remember any promise. Ha ha ha. Shows you not to trust anyone. Anyway, I've already given the order to send the bulldozer. Someone could say you did all this for nothing. See? Here it goes. Oh, gosh. Off with you, girly. The bulldozer is on its way. Better to stay while it works so you can go up and update your friends about the situation or whatever. I don't care. Now I must keep planning the demolition of that pathetic little stable. And don't forget you helped me do it. Ugh, what an what a awful guy. Alright, well let's go ahead and tell Tan that we're working on getting a little bit more done with that bulldozer. So off the bulldozer goes to clear the rocks. So we need to go tell Tan about it. I hope Loretta is going to be okay. Like, she may be mean, but I don't wish a pile of boulders upon anyone's head. <laughs> that just isn't nice. All right, let's go ahead. Man, I just cannot wait until spring comes. There's apparently some really interesting little Christmas quests going on right now. Like, wrap-up Christmas quest to find, like, a few presents laying around. But you have to have completed a lot of other quests that are far beyond my level in order to have access to them. But I love seeing that. I love seeing something that updates so often and has so many people on all the time. It's just really fun to be part of a world. You know what I mean? All right, let's go ahead. Come on over. Saga, do you have any news about Lorada? A bulldozer is on its way to clear the rock slide. That's good. You shouldn't have helped the GED, but that Mr. Kimbell is a real dirtbag. He tricked you real good. Think about it next time, though. You can't trust GED any longer than your nose. All right, so what now, Tan? The bulldozer should have cleared the road by now. Ride back there and look for Loretta. Oh, I hope she's all right. Hurry, Saga, hurry. This is going to be interesting if she's, like, actually all right and, like, flirting with somebody who's not Thomas. I don't know why that's the first thing that comes to mind, but it is. All right, so let's go see what's going on. Oh, Melody, imagine when we're star riders and you can jump over things. That'll be so cool. All right, up we go. Rock slide has been cleared out of the way. Oh gosh, that was a horse on a cliff, all right. And evil saddle sisterhood, that's interesting. Oh, it's pretty up here. Oh, we get to explore more areas, like the more we explore. Oh, oh, is it, oh, is that Loretta? Oh, we're in a whole new area. In a highland, huh? Is that a dog? I saw something moving around over there that I didn't recognize. Okay, this is interesting. Loretta! What are you doing here? Are you lost or something? Oh, Tan sent you. That was kind of her. Of you. Maybe you're okay after all. Listen, I'm sorry if I've been hard on you. You seem okay. Thanks for the help, Saga. Alright, what's going on? Hmm, we need to go back to the stables, I guess. This is boring. Let's compete and see who gets back to Moreland Stables first. From here <laughs> and back to Tan at the paddock. Last one there is a loser, and that will be you. Let's go. Oh boy. Oh good, it's actually letting me have a chance. Okay. Go, Melody, go! Go, Melody, go! Come on! Pick up the pace. There we go. Yeah, Loretta's like long gone. Alright, Melody. Ooh, what a swift turn. Look at that. Yeah, there is no competition. Sorry, Melody, my dear. I feel like I have like a very old horse, if that makes sense. All right, Loretta definitely knows how to ride her horses, that's for sure. 
There we go. Race completed successfully. Oh, goodness. It's getting really busy around here. All right. Where's Loretta? There she is. So let's go and say hello to her. I'm glad that we've we figured out where she was and that she's doing okay. I told you I was going to win. I am the best. I am the greatest writer in the world. You will never beat me. Beat me. Never. Hooray for me. Oh, goodness. So there. That's done. All right. So we had a friendly race competition. Let's come over and let Tan know. Hey, guess what? Loretta's just fine. She's okie dokie. You don't need to worry. You really are improving, Saga. I think you are ready for a real challenge. Because you've helped us with Loretta, I'll let you ride around the Bobcat Girl's finest racetrack, the Wild Bobcat Track. It's hard and dangerous, so take it easy. Remember, you're not a Bobcat Girl, so don't feel good if you don't beat our high scores. I mean, no one can. There's no shame in losing to the Bobcat Girls. Just accept that when we come, <laughs> that when we're around, you'll always come in second best. Oh my goodness. Oh, well, all right, let's all be the last thing we do for the day, and that'll be more experience points for Melody, too. So let's go ahead. Looks like everybody is racing. Oh, my goodness. And we're off on the racetrack. Come on, come on, Melody. Come on. There we go. Got to warm up a little bit. Let's go, let's go. All right. And we just need to keep moving. What is the Bobcat Girls racetrack composed of? Going up this cliff again? Okay. All right, we've got this. We've got this, Melanie. Come on. I really need to take better care of my horse so she's not so miserable all the time. <laughs> we can race faster. Oh, look at that cute little pony. Oh, it's so much fun to see so many horses and ponies everywhere. You just don't ever see that in the world where, where I live. All right, come on, come on. There we go, Melanie. How big is this racetrack? Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty here! Milly, we're gonna lose because I'm looking at all the plants and I can't stop! Alright, we've got this. Sharper turns. It's kind of fun because it feels like we're racing with the people in front of us. Alright, come on. There we go. There we go. Oh, we passed somebody up! Melody, we did it! We passed somebody up! Let's keep going! Alright, there's Cassandra Pandawood. Pandawood, that's a good name. All right, are we gonna beat her? Or is this the end? Oh, we're catching up. Go, Melody, go. Oh, we passed her up. Oh, it's an abandoned farm. I wonder what she was doing up at this abandoned farm. All right, we're running through the highlands now. Am I going the right direction? I think I am. All right, so we loop around. So exciting. Take these turns real sharp. I don't know if those other people were on the racetrack too or just like riding around, but it's kind of fun to be like, yeah, we're winning. We're winning against people. All right, keep going. Come on, Melody. Keep going. All right, oh, two minutes. Come on, can we get under two minutes? Oh, just over two minutes. Oh boy, all right. Well, that wasn't the best compared to everybody, but that wasn't bad if you ask me. That wasn't bad, so we definitely did something fun. And hopefully that new racetrack means that we gain more experience for Melody. That was pretty good. If you're up to it, you can compete in this race again. Just speak to me again and I'll let you have another try. Let me tell you something about racing that maybe you didn't know. Every time you compete in a race and perform well, you earn a reputation. Like if you do well on this track, we Bobcat, girl, we Bobcat Girls will see that you have skill. I'm not promising anything, but you could earn enough reputation with us that maybe, just maybe, you could become a member of our club. Woo, and we leveled up. There we go, you guys. Getting a little bit closer to level five and the point when we will need to become officially a star riders. So that was really fun. I had a great time looking around, beautiful new fields, searching Florida, racing on the Bobcat Trail. That was a lot of fun, even if that nasty GD man is gonna cut down those poor trees. <sighs> we'll have to find a way to thwart him too. And next time, I think we're going to have to go and see what is up with the old man who is Thomas's grandpa on the other side and see if we can save Moreland Staples. So we're getting closer and closer to the point where we'll become Star Riders and hopefully we'll be able to make Melanie happier as the days go by. And I cannot wait to share more of the adventures with you guys. So I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.